Good day everybody, uh, welcome to today's video which our subject is basically about uh, love and relationships um, and the reasons why most of them don't work <laughs> in today's world and uh, how to actually create and find a perfect uh, soulmate in a perfect relationship life. So let's start with our first topic, which I've written down here. <laughs> um, today's relationships basically um, are, are a result of a bunch of things. So like, for example, we see someone, a guy sees someone or a woman sees someone they like, and uh, there's an attraction. Um, you like the people like one or the other starts to contact with the person they like if they are brave enough <laughs> um, they have some time together they have fun they have some sex they have companionship they stay together for a few months or a few years and then they break up and the cycle just goes on again and again and again and uh, each time resulting in the person being hurt and uh, unsure of who he will trust next and if he will trust next and it's the same for women as well it's like they find the guy that they like they break their heart and and then again another guy and another guy and another guy and then you don't know who you really want <laughs> well here I'm gonna tell you how to actually find the guy you want and how to find the girl you want so stay tuned until the end of the video <laughs> sorry my, my camera is a bit like close up so you cannot see my gestures <laughs> um, alright so Basically, how to do this? In as kids, we are let's say men. As uh, kids, we have we are brought up thinking that you know we have to be strong, we have to be stable, we have to be. We can be emotional, but not that much, because if we are too emotional, then women will call us like wussies or something. <laughs> um, and we grow up thinking that um, we have to be the rock hard version of ourselves like to uh, to get a job to get money and to like hopefully find a house um, a car maybe a dog <laughs> and uh, if we're lucky then a woman will like what we have as a whole package and uh, you know come and uh, live with us maybe get married uh, but like this this is a bit wrong though because like okay we grew up let's say in high school in I don't know, 15 years old, 14 years old you have your first crush and she's the best person you you see in the entire world you like her, you love her it doesn't matter if you even talk to her as long as you look at her and you see that she is happy then you are happy and uh, at some point you get the, the courage to you know uh, ask her out and if she says yes then things go well by that um, if uh, she says no then you're like yeah I feel sad for like a while and then try with an ex another girl <laughs> um, and this is like one of the problems that actually predict your future in relationships that 
because we've been taught in today's age that there are so many options to choose from so you don't have to you know go with one girl for the rest of your life if you're not happy you can just choose another one and another one or you know you can go with another guy if you're a woman <laughs> um, people don't stay together people don't uh, sit down to talk about and fight uh, about like how to make their lives better together they just have like a single argument and break up <laughs> for for small reasons that are not that important and yeah they get they feel sad for like a month or two and then for men maybe it takes years to find someone else for women she can find someone the next day if she wants to. I mean, there are so many people lined up. <laughs> um, again, yeah, this is like one of the problems that actually um, destroys the chances of having real love and affection, real happiness, real relationship for the long run. Um, you know, I was like we were talking about this with a couple of friends that in the past men and women didn't have really a lot of choices it's uh, they were going out with who they knew in their circle they knew that as women they would you know like dress nice and uh, I don't know be a caretaker at home and uh, look after their men and that was it that was for the rest of their lives that was their dream, that was their goal to have a home <laughs> for men it was basically they were growing up to become uh, employed educated and uh, worthy of getting a wife and that was it, like around 20 years old, 22 years old, you were a guy that was married to a 19 year old girl, a 16 year old girl and by 18 she'd be like pregnant and have like two kids or five kids with you <laughs> that was the olden life style uh, in today's world it's a lot different because let's say you're a woman you wanna you have dreams to open your I don't know to become a chef to become a hairdresser to become a businesswoman a entrepreneur a artist or singer you don't really care who's gonna look after you you don't really care because you have the money you have the independence you live on your own if you want to in an apartment or some people like just living with their parents <laughs> and if a guy comes along if you find one of the thousands of guys that hit on you <laughs> every day if a guy if a guy sticks out from all those thousands then you take him you try him out if you like him you stay with him forever if you don't like him you go to the next one uh, for guys it's different because we don't really have that kind of availability or if we do it's because we have a lot of money <laughs> um, but yeah usually average guys who work let's say an average job and renting a place they don't get a lot of options unless they're like uh, good looking and girls just want to be the, with them because they, they have good looks not the personality um, yeah and this is something that actually breaks the chances of finding a soulmate because we no longer know what a soulmate is we no longer uh, have the time or don't want to give invest the time to 
work with someone to create the bond because you know, usually let's say you find someone you you fall in love you like yeah this is a man this is a woman for me this is everything <laughs> and uh, when you start uh, being a couple after a month or two or three maybe the energy of that falling in love uh, falls down and in that area of relaxation and getting to know each other and getting used to each other people break up why? because they think they're falling out of love they don't love you anymore they don't love me anymore that's what they usually say or you know you've changed <laughs> Uh, you're not the same person as the one I met. Well, that's that's because that person that you met was trying to impress you because he liked you and he wanted to be with you. Um, but now, because you're with him, you're together, he wants to focus on more important things like uh, actually giving you a good life, giving you... Um, some romantic gestures you know just like having a meaningful loving relationship actually it doesn't mean to always be with flowers always be with restaurants always be with uh, going out to cinemas it does, it's not that having a meaningful relationship is just being there feeling comfortable to be your naked self next to someone in the same house and it doesn't matter what they do what they say it might be quiet all day it might be talking all day you might be looking at each other all day or playing or you know arguing the thing the thing is that once you're in a relationship and you stick to it you will, you will see many changes because you know people change people grow and depending on the seasons like their looks change as well <laughs> their uh, appetite for energy and going out changes you know when you're cold you just want to stay in but when it's summer you want to get out there and have a little fun yeah so that you know there's not th that much patience to go through these processes anymore so that's why people lose interest at some point and uh, just wanted to say like a little secret um, it's been factually it's been proven that as souls we're made of energy emotions we're made of waves we we have like the tendency to fall in love fall down uh, like the energy of the falling love if you fall in love you're like always high energy always uh, thinking always preparing always you know wanting to do activities with your partner when that dies down you should just be with your partner as as you are relaxed calm do the ritual do you like the daily routines <laughs> and uh, after a while you will get inspiration and you will go up again the, the energy is going to go up again um, but yeah people don't have the patience to actually wait that doubt you know um, for the people that actually stay five six years together bravo you have my uh, congratulations and uh, yeah like five six years is not long to get to know someone it's just five six years you should like you should stay with them 
since you like a few things about them, since you like who they are, you should stay with them. Otherwise, like breaking up and getting hurt and starting the whole circle again will be just a waste of time. <laughs> um, oh man, I've lost track of what I'm saying, but it's like all in my head. <laughs> I've written down things right here, a list of the subjects. Okay, you cannot see it. Uh, yeah, it's too much uh, light. Um, yeah. One thing that um, women usually say the, about men is that they don't really open up. They don't communicate. They're like this quiet, broody person. Um, well, the reason for that is because they, yeah, they uh, fell in love so many times, and they were crushed or like you know uh, denied that love and that um, connection. That they don't really feel comfortable to be emotional again <laughs> and that comes down to you know your heart is your heart you don't want someone to squeeze it and hurt it you want someone who will uh, caress it and take care of it as their own so ladies that's why men don't uh, open up to you that much now for guys well <laughs> it's a different thing they always say that you know women are too arguing they're arguing they're moaning um, they talk a lot well the reason for that is oh, they just like to that's how they're made <laughs> that they like to express their emotions all the time um, and like the best way for um, a man and a woman to be together is to yes have the time to communicate but also have the time to be themselves like a man wants peace and quiet he wakes up he goes to work gets stressed all day he just wants to come home to the you know like relax and chill and see his wife see his kids not to continue the stress continue the fussing continue the shouting um, I think it's the same with women if they are working you know they just women want to be with their man when uh, they come home but because their man is tired, he just wants to say, you know, just sit down with me and cut it up. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like women just want a bit more than that. Uh, they want to talk about how their day went and how they felt and who they met. And uh, yeah, as guys. Uh, we just, we just have to sit there and listen and be patient. So, yeah, it's tough <laughs> uh, being um, in a relationship like for a long time. But yeah, if you have the patience and the hunger to keep it going then you can just work through anything and you can find solutions to all your problems doesn't matter if um, they are tough or if they're easy as long as you want to make the relationship work then it works otherwise it doesn't work <laughs> you're just unhappy anyway I think I've been talking for like 20 minutes almost <laughs> so I am I need to close this video and uh, 
yeah, hopefully the next one will be a bit more um, precise, like short. Uh, I hope everything I've talked about makes sense. I hope that uh, you understand now that men want peace and a, and a good loving woman and women want uh, a good loving man and some adventure so if you're able to stick through the hard times of a relationship instead of breaking up then you will find happiness, you will find love, you will find partnership but for now love yourself love your family, love your friends and if you're thinking I'm never gonna find the right man you're looking in the wrong place he might be one of your best friends but you you don't know it anyway enjoy the day enjoy the week and see you next time um adios <laughs> i was gonna say like see you next time on dragon ball z but <laughs> yeah that was like my favorite uh outro as a kid <laughs> anyway, see you. <laughs>